It's been uh, really exciting. Uh, obviously, the, like, the whole build-up of, of coming out to, to Beijing, like with Team GB uh, in the airport and flying out, like that was just sort of it was quite special to be such a be a part of a team that was quite uh, big. Um, and then obviously, like being in the village is just is just crazy. And like we're only one third of the uh, of the Olympics out here because there's another two villages, but it just feels so massive. And there's just like countries from well, like all over the world that you're just like sharing food halls and stuff like that with. So um, it, it's so surreal and like sometimes can maybe feel a bit overwhelming because there's just so much stuff to do and so much stuff to see. So, but no, it, yeah, it's been brilliant. I'm 21, so I don't, like I don't see this as as being my last Olympic. So it was about coming here and like taking ev everything I can, doing everything I can, uh, just so that I can like gain as much experience and and learn as much about the Olympics because it's like no other competition that you do. So um, not really much can prepare you for it apart from doing the Olympics itself. So so I'll be using that for, for 2026, hopefully. It's really sick because. Um, like obviously we don't have many like the sliding on the snow sports but we still have a big area in this village um, and even just the sports like with uh, with British ice skating we have figure and, and long track and um, but we don't really see them very often so to see them and ask them how it's going and, and ask like oh what were you guys doing today or and if that's it's their competition day wishing them luck and they're wishing us luck like it just makes you feel part of a part of a bigger team and it's not just about short track it's it's about a, a bigger picture.